everybody, Tom Joya from Visionary Music Group here. Today we're going to work on another mix tip. I'm going to show you how I add reverbs, delays, and effects on auxiliary channels. So by doing this, we lessened our processing power, DSP load, rather than having these on each individual channel. So down here from my template, I brought in different reverbs that I like. So I like this 480 chamber by Altiverb for drums. I also like a simulation of the, um, the Sony reverb. Then I have a small room, Valhalla Vintage Verb, set up for a tile room, which was like a PCM70 preset that's cool on drums. And then this Revive is nice plug-in for some ambience, large ambience for drums and hits and things. Then I have different reverbs for different groups. So the drums would have one set of reverbs, the guitars would have a different set, and then the vocals would have different ones. A guitar room, this is great, the Valhalla room. And then I have delays for the guitars. And I have some presets I made to sound like PCM42s. And what you'll see that's interesting is here, these, these delays get sent back into the reverb for their light group. So if I have a guitar room reverb, I'll send a little bit of the guitar room, uh, the guitar delays back into the guitar room reverb. So that, that creates a little more space that they're in on their own and it pushes the delays back further. Then for vocals, I have a lot of combinations. I have a small room, wooden room, which is nice for the dry parts of the song. I have a, a medium-sized room, which I can use for vocals or music, a uh, Valhalla verb. Then a micro pitch shift setting. I love my old uh, Eventide harmonizer. I spread that out a little more with the SPL Vitalizer. Then I have this uh, available, very speed for a, a nice tape doubling type of effect. Then I have a slap. Echo, I always like this, the space echo from Roland. And then I have another verb that's a plate that I'll use for vocals, and it has a pretty hefty pre-delay on it. Then I have the same type of delays uh, set up for vocals. And I have a second micro pitch shift in case I want something different for the backgrounds. I have a Dimension D ready. I also use this for background vocals, and this is great for guitars too, the AMS. If I want some odd vocal delay throws, I have this uh, CLA set up for like a telephone echo throw. Then the old R2-D2 EMT 250 is great for band things. And then if I want a general feeling of being in a room, I will have something set up, I call it a blend reverb. So let's solo our lead vocals and use our effects for that. Cool, so now I have the vocals soloed and we're gonna add some effects. If for today, we swing and we sway Just to go along Go along and get along Assimilate Not too much That's the small room. Here's the, the main Vox reverb. If for today We swing and we sway Just to go along Go I like the quality of that reverb, I like the pre-delay, but in this song with all these thick guitars going on, I think I'm going to have to EQ it a little bit. So don't be afraid to put on an EQ and EQ your return. That's better already. Go along, get along, assimilate, not to my taste, who's original? Who is original? Cool, so I like that better, but that's obviously way too much. If for, if for today we swing and we sway Just to go along, go along and get along Assimilate, not to my taste Who's original? Who is original? I wish that things could be like this. Okay, so another cool thing that I usually do, and it's built into my template, the micro pitch shift is great, and it gives you that detune thing, and it sounds like a doubler, but it seems too upfront sometimes. So I have the option of throwing that into another reverb. So usually, if you see down here on all of these, as I discussed earlier with the guitar vocals, the micro pitch shift, if we can find it here, gets thrown back into the vocal reverb a bit. So let's hear it with it and without it. If for today we swing and we sway Just to go along, go along and get along Assimilate, not to my taste 
So, so t- sometimes if you want the vocal to be drier and not have the appearance of the reverb, you can have it off like I have here and then have it hitting the other effects more. This is in. If for today we swing and we sway just to go along, go along and get along. Here's the slap alone all the way up. If for today we swing and we sway just to go along, go along and get along, assimilate not to my taste. Cool, so eighth note throw. Cool, so I'm hearing the slap being a little mid-rangey and the eighth note echo is a little too far in front. So we're going to dial up the reverb on it and we're going to do some... Uh, so here is the eighth note right there. So we're going to add a little more of the vocal verb on that. And let's go to the slap and EQ that a bit. If for today we swing and we sway Just to go along, go along and get along Assimilate, not to my taste Who's original? Who is original? Cool, that's better. So in the verse, we might want to automate the small room vocal and not have it on later when there's more band activity. So let's check out what we had with the band in, and let's see what it sounds like with these in and out. In. So you notice, first thing I did was I I boosted up the levels a little bit because now the vocal has some ambience, so it's set back a little further. So let's hear what happens when we get to the pre-chorus. So I kind of hear too much of this this reverb, the long one. So let's go back and, and try it with the short reverb. We swing and we sway Just to go along Go along and get along Assimilate Not to my taste Who's original? Who is original? So the slap vocals and the delay sound a little loud to me on all the doubles. And the whole thing still feels a little, a little bit wet, so I'm going to back it all off a little bit but I did like it with the uh, with the small room more than the plate Cool, so there's all our effects on the vocals. Now I still have to work with balances, obviously, but let's go check out some some other things we might want to put some effects on. So there's keyboard parts. Will we run into the same dilemma that we did? Like, do I want to put aux ends on each one of these to have different different effects levels, or am I going to sum them out to a keyboard aux? So let's let's make a keyboard aux. And these are done in my template. They're always pretty much done. Now they're not, but this is more of an exercise to show you you guys what we do and how we do it. Okay, we can cut back in. So now I'm gonna create a bus for the keyboards, which once again would be in my template. So we wouldn't be doing this when we're mixing, but this is more to show you guys what's going on. Waves Abbey Road played is a different sound from the one I'm using for the vocal. 
So we're going to get that going. And we're going to need a send for that. Let's pop that in. So you can see how long this takes. This is why I won't do it. <laughs> it has to be my template. So go back and watch my video about templates, creating templates, anatomy of a template. It, it, you'll see how what makes this so wonderfully quick. All right, so Abbey Road. Where are you? Plates. Okay. Let's see what this sounds like. Plate B is, is I dig that one. Let's hear that in context and see if we need anything else to create any more interest out of those keyboards. All stepping wise, our folks in a nice. Just to go along, go along, get along. Bees in a high, just to survive. Who's original? Who is original? That's a nice way to bring presence and growl without losing any of the real vibe of it. Sometimes if you put some presence on, you sort of, you, you lose everything. So let's go to sound field and let's do some kind of spreading thing on this guy. All stepping wise, our folks in a nice. Just to go along, go along, get along. Bees in cool. We'll get ourselves over to the next keyboard spot. You're right. feels like it needs a little something else in the chorus to, to kind of pick it up even more. I don't know if that's some kind of spatial thing. And this might, might be something we have to mute in the verses, because we do want the choruses to pay off, so we're going to want them to, to blow up in width and in excitement and everything else. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to mute this. So what you do is you do uh, Option Command Control to be able to automate this. So I'll set it to be automated off at the beginning of the tune. I usually, you know, I don't usually engage automation this early, but this one's kind of necessary. And then I'll have it kick in in the chorus and bridge. And I'll do the same thing with this widener, so the chorus gets a little little lift. Let's go back here and check this level. Bees in a high, just to survive. Who's original? Who is original? And the chorus. Let's talk about some effects on the guitars. So we have a clean guitar happening in the verses and the pre-chorus. Hey. So 
So I popped the Valhalla guitar room. Okay, so we got this hooky guitar in the chorus. Let's check any of the other guitars out. There's something happening in the pre-chorus. So you see me panning them in the same space. There's a cool command on Pro Tools. Option, Command, H. And that'll let you pick anything you want to go to wherever you want. So now they'll all be panned appropriately. So let's hear that. So now it's starting to get some back and forth motion in the mix now that we're, we're giving some depth to it. Now it has some semblance of sounding a little bit more like a record, so let's check out the drums. So on this clicky one, I'm going to add a tiny bit of the tile room. Then I have that Sony emulation. I'll, I'll add this on the... Add that on the drum room sample. Let's try a little bit of the drum verb. Cool, so let's let's add a little bit of this 480 drum chamber to that and see if we like it. Now the snare group on, so as I turn one up, I'm turning them all up. We got a little weight on the toms there. Let's check out the room sounds. Without.
Okay, so we have some claps. We have some gunshots. So let's give the reverse snare. Drum verb. Let's go for our 480 next. Sometimes a little bit of different ones really fill things out in a good way. And the claps could probably benefit from the little bit of the drum verb and quite a bit of the, the revive verb. And I think the gunshots could help, get help from that. So let's see if we want any sort of modulation effects happening on any of these guitars to give them something different. Oh, we got these sustainer guitars. They need to be set pretty far back. Let's take a listen to those. Let's see what they do. So those longer Abbey Road plate parts work for that. And there's a clean guitar here. Let's see what he was doing. He's, he's so affected, he doesn't need anything. So I think we've done it. Let's check out our background vocals in, in the chorus. And we have it. So if you notice, the levels are getting a little, little crazy. So this is why I don't like to automate yet, because usually what I'll do is after I get all these in and I'm sort of settled, I just pull down all the faders real fast and in five, ten minutes start redoing the balances. The life you say we lead has fallen at our feet. Madness is now complete. Long gone, long gone. The dreams... So they sound like they're in the same place, but they sound like the verb's a little too heavy. So let's try our AMS verb, which I kind of do like for background vocals. Once again, this would be on my template, so I wouldn't be doing it now. The life you say we lead has fallen at our feet. Madness is now complete. Long gone, long gone. The dreams that I still keep awake in disbelief. Madness is now complete. Long gone, long gone. That's pretty cool. Let me do the harmonies. And after I do the harmonies, I think I'm going to turn down the, the reverb decay, the main vocal reverb, because it's a little bit long. The life you say we lead has fallen at our feet. Madness is now complete. Long gone, long gone. The dreams that I still keep away. So that may seem short, you know, 1.4, 1.3, but we have a pre delay of like 160 something. So that's almost like a 16th note before. So it gives you a little clarity before the reverb kicks in. One more listen. The life you say we lead has fallen at our feet. Madness is now complete. Long gone, long gone. Cool. Here with the track. The life you say we need has fallen at our feet. Madness is now complete. Long gone, long gone. Good. 
All right, so now let's see how these treatments of these guys. There's some gang vocals. All right, so we're going to add the EMT verb on these backgrounds, see what they do. Cool, so we want to sort of double up that gang, make it sound a little wider. So let's add the dimension D to it and see if that does it. Cool, that gives us our crowd thing. So here's all our verbs. We'll play a pre-chorus and a chorus with all the effects in and then we will play it without it. So let's go down and find them, and we'll shut them off after you hear it. Okay, here's it with it in. Now I'm going to take them out. I wish that things could be like they were before. I close my back in. I wish that things could be like they were. So hope you enjoyed this mix tip video using aux channels to create sends for our reverbs, delays, and modulation effects. Stay tuned for the next one. We're going to do aux submasters. Once again, please subscribe to the channel. We could use your support and hope you check out the other videos and hit the notification bell so we can let you know when there's more coming like these. Thanks again. You say we lead has fallen at our feet. Madness is now complete. The life you say we.